water off. You were late. We're late. We're always late. Going to my Here's favorite here. place. This is by far one of our favorite Airbnbs. It's called Fossil. The other one is called Altar. That's where we stayed during our wedding. It's by far, honestly, I'd say one of the it's best like Airbnbs so in Tulum. Pretty. It's so beautiful. Like, and it just gets better than this. Like, there's like so many different types of little houses you can get. Stunning. But why are we in Tulum? We are in Tulum because Azulik invited us to an event. Um, Azulik is who made our wedding attire, and we just created a beautiful relationship with them throughout the process of designing that. They invited us to an art exposition before, and we loved it, the experience. So when they invited us this time, we're like, let's buy a flight to Lone. But I was like, you know what? When we're home, like, I just feel like I'm very uninspired. Like, I feel like I've seen Arizona and I'm over it, although I love our house. I was like, let's stay at that property again and let's work. We're here for four days. One day, tomorrow, we're just doing like a full beach day. We're gonna get drunk, we're gonna run at the beach with Ralph. And, but then today, which is our technically first full day here, we're just gonna work because it's so beautiful and I feel so inspired. Wes gonna work some YouTube, I'm gonna work on TikToks, then we're gonna film TikToks together. Oh yeah, I posted, I mean it's probably posted by now, it's gonna go live before this one, a video of like styling for Tulum, but you guys, this is because I wanna work here. Look at how many outfits, like full on outfits, have a bunch of TikToks planned, and that's generally what I wanna do because it's so freaking beautiful and I, I just wanna film, it's, it's stunning. The lighting's great and yeah, that's all I'll be doing here. But then we'll actually also enjoy vacation. It's now 3 p.m. To be fair, we woke up kind of late, right? We woke up like 11. It's like 3 p.m. We filmed some, or I filmed some TikToks. Wes has been working on that YouTube video. Look at how cute he looks right now. Show your outfit. Top is from? Isabel Moran. Pants are from? Zara. Jewelry? All over. Shoes? Birkenstock. <laughs> My ass is in Princess Polly because I need to shoot a sponsor post, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at how stunning. This is where I'm gonna shoot some photos right now. Don't even have to leave. Look at how beautiful. Wow. We're the only people here. Maracuya. Maracuya. Maracuya juice. Muy bien. Okay. We're going to dinner right now. We kind of just ate and then we went home. We did some more work, edited some stuff. Now we're going to dinner. Every time we go to when we come here? Yeah, pretty much. It's called La Pizine. I'll show you. It's really cool. Okay. So this is it. You walk in. It is located in La Veleta. It's such a vibe. We came here actually last year and got our hand tattoos done. But we basically come here every time we come to Tulum. I always get the margarita pizza. Wes always gets the prosciutto. And we just recently found out about this dessert. It's a Nutella and banana calzone so we were packing up we woke up as you can tell we did some work i had to do some savage photos which are really good and we just filmed some little fun tiktoks basically i told you it's literally what we're doing but we have to check out of this room and we're going to another room here's why because they didn't have like one room four one days. room available for four days straight the two rooms available for two days and those two days happen to be the first two days were here and the last two days were here which actually oh out. do you want to be in it he says, I oh look say hi oh my god he literally just came to me and like tapped me he's like bitch let me see um so yeah we're just waiting to switch rooms we got to switch in like 15 minutes and then we're gonna go to the where are we gonna go I where are we going see. Ralphie? ralph Bagatelle. Do you want to go to the beach? Do you want to play frisbee at the beach? At Bagatelle? Oh. Do you want to go? Baradas? Ralph, you can get Barada? At Bagatelle? He's, he's like, oh my god, wait. Wait. Let's go, let's go right now. Come on. Let's go right now. Come on. <laughs> you don't go right now, huh? He gets so excited. <laughs> the whole vlog is just Ralph because he's so freaking cute. You guys, ever since me and Wes came to him the first time, you yeah, see that little cool. sign over there? Yeah every time but this road is freaking crazy busy usually right and there's never a way of just like stopping and like taking a fucking photo but wes been like the whole time like every time every time we come to tulum i'm like this is the spot to take a photo of tulum that encapsulates tulum and we never we could never take the photo there because this road's fucking crazy and then uh, today when we were driving here i was like i mean babe should we try to stop 
By the way, there's no way of stopping anywhere, right? Because you have to pay for parking. So I was like, let's just try. And we did, and we got it! I'll insert the photos here. Or Wes will insert the photos here. Look at They're so good! That's it. That's it. Now I feel like we don't ever need to come back to Lum Lies. We'll probably be back here in a month. You know. All right, so this is it, you guys. It's like under these little things. These little flags. This is the best representation of Tulum, right here. It's like the palm trees, the road of the holes in it. Look at all the seaweed. Holy shit. Yeah, it's really shit. bad. Wow, it's really bad. Right oh now. my God, that is so bad. It's the worst I've seen it. That is, does it, oh my God, it's like an, ew. Like yeah, we're definitely bad. not getting in the water today, baby. This is it. Favorite place on earth. Bag of Oh, I love the disco balls. They took the chandelier out. But yeah, for our rehearsal dinner, we had like a massive table over here. And just the breeze. Oh, I love this place. I've Hello. missed you. Ralph, hi, Russell. Hi, Russell. <laughs> you see, everyone knows Ralph by his name, you guys. I'm not even joking. It's so cute. Fun fact about me, you guys. For a minute, I got to the beach club and I got my photos. Makeup comes off. I literally brought my whole skincare. My whole skin My skin is fresh. Lou just uh, bought a necklace. If you want to sell anything in a foreign country, go up to Lou. She will buy everything and she buys it at full price. She does not bargain. She does not believe in bargaining. Look at how cool! It's all parts. It's unique. It's one of one. Nobody can have it, okay? Look at how beautiful! With somebody to love. Turn around. Oh, my lover. <laughs> what stopped at the market? <laughs> Look at the roads, you guys. I love Tulum because of this. West stopped at the market to get some food. <laughs> Did they not have bags? No. It's Ralph's dinner time. More like a lunch. He didn't sleep well last night. We were at the beach all day. So we got his farmer's dog. <laughs> a whole piece of ham and a whole piece of cheese. So he will eat all this and take a nice nappy, right Ralphie? After his shower, post beach. We're back at our wedding venue. Shot a tear. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so today we basically just worked on it. And then we stopped to go to Burrito and Morton. If you ever went to London, you definitely gotta eat there. It's so good. I have the best burritos. I got a shrimp one, but I add beans and avocado to it. It's really good. Um, and then we just left our wedding venue. We became really good friends with the owners and we just went over there to say hello. And also because uh, Nikita Zulik, who made our wedding attire, they gave us a gift on our wedding day but like no one ever handed it to us but um dorothy and enzo who owned the venue found it so we went to pick this up and they made us a painting which is so cute just went there grabbed a glass of wine with them and now we're kind of speeding because we got to go to the azulik event it starts in like 20 minutes i'm gonna try to narrate this the best i can but at every azulik event as soon as you walk in they cleanse your energy with some copal and they're also playing the drums which is just a beautiful experience overall if you've ever been to any of their properties it feels like you're inside of a storybook feels like a fairy tale the architecture is so unique it's so integrated with nature and this specific art installation was about plant medicine related to the mayan culture i believe it was about the purple book which is a very important book in their culture so we just walked around explored more of the exhibition and we've been through this before at one of their events but they just basically do this ceremony to give thanks to the universe and it's beautiful i'm gonna let you hear a bit of it it's really pretty <laughs> So then we just hanged around for a bit, got some drinks and bites, and then the next day we were ready to go home. It's like tradition, every time we leave Tulum at the Cancun airport, we stop at Margaritaville and I get this massive drink. 
called Bahama Mama. It's just tons of rum. It's really good. It's like candy. We may eat. We come to the airport early so we can eat here. Yeah, it's making ceviche behind me. So I took matters into my own hands and I bought Try to Know in Mexico because <laughs> you don't have a prescription for it. And you're like, that is so irresponsible, right? I mean, I'm not doing anything illegal. I bought it. I bought it there. It was. I bought it at the airport, actually. It was like that easy. It was actually like right behind the lady on the counter. Like, can I have that? It's like, yeah. Um, but here's the thing. My skin's been like crazy for the longest time. And I found a skincare routine that like actually got it better but it wasn't solving it so i'm starting a try to know journey like we will i will i will keep you posted on on how that works out even when i started on my current skincare routine my skin got better for like two days and then it got really bad again and then it started getting better so i understand like the concept of your skin purging a hundred percent like i get it so my thing is not even the breakout my biggest thing is the dryness and peeling a lot of people report a lot of really bad peeling i saw some very terrible photos and i'm just gonna be extremely careful with moisturizing my face and using sunscreen got some errands to run we got home clean myself up a bit put a lot of sunscreen on my face gonna go run some errands Okay, I just went to Nordstrom, picked up some products, and also Ulta. I'll start with Nordstrom. Ilias Liquid Highlighter. Never tried it, but I'm gonna try it. I'm excited. I also picked up Kosas Lip Gloss. I've heard a lot of things about this. I had to try it. I picked it up on the shade Jellyfish. I don't have any makeup on, but let's see. It's pretty. It's very glossy. Looks wet. I like it. I like glossy lip gloss. I also got Ilya's True Skin Serum Concealer. This might be a bit light for me, but that's fine. You can get away with concealer. Ooh, also heard a lot of good things about this. The Bare Minimals Hint Blush. So I picked this up and never tried this brand, but I also heard incredible things about it. It's called Westman Atelier. It's really expensive, you guys. But look at this packaging. Ilya Mascara. Definitely try this. I love her. And then from Ulta Beauty, I'm just stocking up on some skincare. Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero. I just went out of one of these. Sierra, my friend Sierra actually has it. And when I saw, once I was over one day, she made me try and I love that it. it really melts your makeup. It's honestly pretty affordable. I'm double cleansing lately because, you know, talking about cleansing, I had to throw my face wash away at the airport with that whole situation of my bag not being able to go on the plane. So I got the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. By the way, I've always been the type of person that's like, I want a really nice cleanser. And then I realized that less is better. So I've been using the CeraVe one for a while. No complaints. I actually like it. Um, do I think it really removes like your makeup and such? No, but that's why we have this. But it is a gentle cleanser. And uh, with the Tretinoin, um, I need to be gentle. I got a loofah, because Lass asked me to get a loofah, whatever. I'm just gonna start Tretinoin really slow, like once to twice a week in the first like two weeks. And then after that, I'm gonna increase to three times a week from like week three to five. And then every other day from then on. And then hopefully one day, every day. Since I did it last night, I'm not doing it today, but I'm keeping my regular skincare routine on these days the only difference is i am throwing a lot of moisturizer and a lot of sunscreen i also i have a lot of moisturizers um that i guess sent and i was using the cerave but i was reading and like you really need like a really good moisturizer so i have the first aid beauty ultra repair cream and it's really good so i just pulled it out and that's what i'm gonna be using instead because it is a very intense moisturizer it's really good for your skin so yeah this is my my little haul oh my god favorite thing ever what makes the best grilled cheese tomato soup so hidden talent also i look crazy because <laughs> i put like this thing called beep and then it's basically like baby's butt pomade around my really dry areas our show of choice lately has been Westworld. We're gonna start season four, eat some grilled cheese, on a lovely Monday. Skin update, this bad guy is coming out. Look at him, he's coming out. We're gonna work out, Wes dropping me off, 
favorite chauffeur in the world ralph came for the ride this time after my workout i decided that today i'm gonna treat myself i'm gonna get my blow out and hopefully i'm gonna try to get my nails done after so tuesdays and thursdays are glute days at my workout and i did 30 of these for three sets um and then i did 15 on each leg for three sets straight before i moved on to the next exercise and then we did these which were very painful but effective just working out that booty sweating feeling very strong but weak at the same time and then these were great i feel like these were great for your hip i had a thought i had a thought the thought is i think i want to cut my bangs again me says this literally the scissors on hands i think i'm gonna i'm gonna do it let me give you a bang one-on-one -on -one class so if you pull more hair like on the sides right like this way what you're doing is that you are making your bangs wider if you want to give your bangs more volume you pull it from the back so step number one i personally prefer a little bit of volume not too much and i don't like my bangs to grow straight across like i like them wispy you gotta section this right though because i'm telling you if you don't section it right that's like mistake number one but now do i want them with this much volume here's the thing you can always get more you cannot get less so i would say definitely keep that in mind okay see i got my section now pull your other hair back don't want to mess this up now helpful if you have these little clippy guys and so out of this section I will pull like basically the sides of it like this see like this one side and I'm going to put it away and then I am going to go on this side and try to make it even. So now this is basically, if you look like where it would fall, <laughs> if you look at where this falls on my face, it's like right in between my eyebrows, right? So this is like my middle section. And I'm gonna do my best to brush it. And here's how you're gonna get your little scissor or your big scissor, doesn't matter. And you're gonna start cutting from like where you see it's the middle. So like looking through this hair, looking through this hair, this is my middle, I find the middle. And I'm just gonna go up. Scissors like this always and never like this. This, there's no way, this, there's no way back. So, I mean, this doesn't either, but it's definitely slower. Okay. Ooh, do you see her coming through? Oh, baby, yeah, baby, yeah. So now that it's like this, I'm gonna <laughs> do this, right? Let me find. So this is like the middle of my middle, right? Right now. Keep repeating the same thing. But here's the thing, remember, this, the very middle of your section is the highest point of your bank. It's the one that you cut the most. So I always like to start there. Um... I always like to start there because then you can just like adjust everything accordingly. But you gotta determine the lowest point of your bangs. And now I'm starting to widen it a bit. So, but as you're widening, don't go as short. Like try to do like a little, what's it called? Staircase moment. You gotta do slowly but surely. So now I see that these pieces, although it's even up here, I mean, kind of, it's not super even down here. So I start cutting the sides, but I don't do it. Like I said, it's more like a staircase type five. And here's the thing about wispy bangs. They don't need to be perfect because they're supposed to be uneven, you know? And you're like, Lisa, that looks like crap. Just wait until I like wash it wash my bangs and blow dry them oh my god it looks so much better it's good all right all right you guys we're we're getting somewhere you're like what the hell trust the process okay now we're gonna pull these little sections 
out. See these guys? I'm gonna like brush things together, like regroup everybody. You see I look kinda emo right now? I would always say, if this is your first time doing this, you wanna look like this, like emo at first, because you don't wanna go too short. And when I do this, like see, like I spread it out, and then I'll start like, careful with your eyes. To be honest, my front pieces are already pretty well, like they blend kind of well already. So I don't think I'm gonna mess with them too much. If anything, I'm just gonna take a look at this. I mean, they are pretty well blended actually. So I'm gonna leave it. Okay, this is the final. I'm gonna get this wet and I'll be back to show you. So I dried them and I realized there was some adjusting to be done. So we're doing it. But I realized that like, I needed to pull more hair that was on the side to the middle. I have to thin her down like over here. You guys are like, Louisa, you are doing so much. I know. I know. I know. But at least like you guys are like here with me. You know what I mean? Like, I guess you're seeing how my brain's thinking. So then you can tell your brain to think the same way if you're crazy enough to do this. I'm also like such like a fine, I'll do it myself person. All right, guys. Final result. Final result. Is she banging? Oh my god, I love my so life. slobber all over your teeth. Please. 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 Tell them what we're doing. Tell them what we're doing. We're going, we're, I mean, we're having a girls night yeah. because we must have one every week. Every and week. A nice little recharge. Well, yeah, you know. we just need a, we need a girl time. And then C wants to make, what's it called? Crystal necklaces? Yes. Crystal I, necklaces. I got a bunch of, um, crystals in Sedona the other day and I really want to try to make necklaces out of them. We got food. Guys, this is this like the famous apartment. I'm in here. That That is the apartment, right? Like, it's ah! me, I'm gonna give you a tour. It's so cute. I woke up with bangs and I don't regret it. So that's a good sign. <laughs> I'm going to my workout again. Decided I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna try to record it for you guys. Okay, so today was a full body workout and we started off with hex bar deadlift. We did 12, 8, 5, then 3 reps, increasing weight. Then I went on to do these one and a quarter hip thrusts for 10 of those. Then 10 dumbbell rows on each side. Then I did this. I don't know what this is, but it's good for your butt and your hamstrings. Then I did this upright cable row, which was fun these are great i love these i don't know what they work out but i did 20 of those and then some push-ups or is that a push-up after that it was like abs and cardio these were hard but i absolutely love them and we do those for 30 seconds like this little section um yeah i'm just working out the abs and and going we just killed our workout yeah i'm tired we did but we did we did good we did good now we're we gonna get bigger exactly it's over for you bitches Oh, so me and Mac literally live like three minutes away from each other? Yeah, it's really nice. So, she's taking me home. Cool. She literally lives. Now I can go in the HOV lane, so. <laughs> True, you go home like, quicker. We just got some packages, so I'm just gonna, thought I would unbox it with you guys. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Okay, first one's from Backman, what's it called? Backman 1802 or 1800. You know what I mean. Oh my god, this is cute. Like the little bag. I like the bag. The bag's cute. I'm always shopping, so like this is useful. A little sticker. And ooh, a deep pore deep pore purging lattic acid clay mask milk glaze. This looks hot. I definitely wanna try it. I need a deep pore cleanse. This one's from Red and Ray. Ooh, is it jewelry? It looks like jewelry. These are so cute! <laughs> Love. These are like crystal earrings. Oh my god! And obviously some goat hoops. Honestly love these. I am obsessed with goat hoops. So honestly, basically what I wear most days, all the time. Wow. But yeah, I've been like super into different jewelry lately. And I'm so about it. I love the little notes. 
Luis Zoe love your style. Can't wait to see how you sell these. Oh, you guys got a discount code. Luisa20 for 20% off at Red and Ray. You guys got a discount code, baby. Favorite. Favorite. I love Armani. <laughs> the way I open a letter. Ah, it smells really good though. It does smell masculine, which I like. It's kind of like, it gives me like... Here's the thing, how I can describe my perfumes, it's by like a location or like an, a, a scene. And this, this scene gives like, you're at a speakeasy, it's really dark in there. And you look hot, but you also look like mysterious. Like you look hot but mysterious and you're just having a drink at a bar. And you're not talking to anyone, you mind your own business. And everyone in that bar and that speakeasy, not a bar, speakeasy, notice your presence. But also no one can approach you because they're genuinely intimidated. This is the vibe this gives me. Oh my God, next up, we have 1230 Miss Lauren. I'm so proud of you. I'm so excited. Oh my God, so cute. She's so cute. She says, Luisa, Queen of Arizona, I'm so excited for you to open this. I love you, bitch. I love you, bitch. You're so cute. Oh my god. Yay. And she got Hot Girl Walk. She had to. She's iconic. She had to. And then we have super freaking cozy. This actually feels like so nice to the touch. I really like it. It's really comfy. So cute. This is it. Well, 3.30, baby. Now we have a mysterious box. Um, I don't know what the sender is. It says Scott. Like, it's a name. It's not like a brand. So I'm very intrigued. Like, what's in this? What's in this? Those are my favorite packages, though. Because, like, I'm like, what? What is here? Okay. Cut water spirits. The semi... A bunch of alcohol. I love it. Rum mojito, rum mojito. Rum, they're all rum mojitos. Mango, watermelon, mint, and lime, passion fruit, and guava. Oh my god! Thank you. Thanks, guys. We're gonna we're gonna get a little titty on it. I got this package, but I will not open it with you because I want to open it because I want to open it on TikTok. Um, it's like one of my favorite brands. You know, it's funny. I get like there's a DM of me in 2018 saying like hey I would love to collab with you if you don't know what I'm talking about watch my how to become an influencer video like that video it's like what I it's what I used to do I just DM brands and I DM this brand and I basically got like rejected which was fine you know I get it but then but then they DM me the other day and they're like hey and I'm like so I want to open a TikTok because it's like a dream package of mine. I'm really excited. If you want to know, it's from RUMI. And yeah, I am so excited. Then we got Spanish Baby. I started opening, but I didn't. And I was like, let me just film this. It's from Charlie Holiday. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. It's like a linen. You guys, this is actually so high quality. Like, swear to God, I can feel the quality. I know the quality by touching something. This is so high quality. Wow. Also really high quality, but like this shirt. We love a good button up. Oh, oh this is hot. They're My family at ASOS. God, I love ASOS so much. If anyone from ASOS has seen this, I love you. I love you so much. Like, so. <gasps> yes! 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 I fell in love with this bag. And I was like, can I have it? Oh my gosh, she's my new day to day bag. Like, holy cow. She is. Perfect. Wow. Cute, 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 cute. Look how cute. So a freaking cute. Cute little top. Yes. A wide basic top, you guys. We all need it. And we all need a lot of them because if you're like me, you stain them so quick. And like for some reason, it will never come off. So you'll need a bunch. But look, it's longer, which is my current vibes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this dress, girl. Look at me in this dress. Just look at me. Look at me in this dress. Oh my god. I'm just saying the minute I put this on, like, bye. 
Oh, also, since I'm at this, this is not things that I got sent. This is something I bought. There's this shop downtown Phoenix called Now or Never. And they basically do their own curated um, designer selections. They were having a sale, so I got some gunny shoes. <gasps> Clogs. Literally trash on me, if you will. But these are so cute. Clogs are back. Oh, we also got this. Really cute. Don't ask me what it's for. I also got a brain dad shirt because I thought she was cute. But I bought those those three things. Yeah. 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 I need to go grocery shop. 